Hi again, uh, here we are talking about Xcode and about mocking our projects up in Xcode. And uh, so far I've got these two screens here, these two view controllers, right? And we did a little work to get the, uh, the buttons to be a little fancier where we could modify them and add a little more design to them. And that wasn't built in. We had to add, you know, add a little bit of code, but it wasn't easy. We could, or it wasn't hard. We could just copy and paste it, right? And then we did the same here to get the round um, effect on the, the image view and add the border, right? Uh, but what can we do with, with the, uh, the text field? The text field doesn't really provide a lot of design options. You know, you can set the font, you can set the placeholder text. You can see here, like when I select it, you can see it's got placeholder text. I can do text align. Um, you know, you can set a background image. This is actually rather frustrating. It doesn't give the options that you, that you really want. Um, you know, you can do that. Um, and then the border here, you know, it can be rounded, it can be square. I'm not quite sure what the difference between these two are. I guess this one you can set the size to be a little bit larger, right? And then you can have no border at all, right? So there aren't, there aren't a lot of options here, right? Um, there's a few more options here, like you can set the type of keyboard you get. So if you want a numeric keyboard, right? Um, I forget where's the one here. Uh, yeah, there's web search, Twitter, decimal pad, email address, right? Phone number, right? Um, you can set the um, capitalization, so you can see how the keyboard capitalizes stuff. Um, you can set um, where was the one? Where's the option here? Um, oh yeah, secure entry. So that's kind of like if you're entering passwords. And that actually, you know, in this case, maybe we want to use it on the password field. So I'll check that, right? Secure entry. But there isn't like a lot of stuff here. You can do the background color, um, you know, and that's about it, right? So what I'd like to do is I'd like to do a little more with this and make it just like a little fancier, right? Input fields are kind of important. We really want to engage people and encourage them to use, you know, to log in with your app, right? So what I found um, last week was this, um, let me hide this for a moment. I found this guy's um, a GitHub site. It says text field effects, right? And he's got these really great effects here and they're really easy to use. So um, I'll do a little example of it. Uh, let me show you his thing. He's like, oh yeah, I fell in love with these text field input effects from this article. Let's take a quick look at that article. Um, I'll open it in another tab here. And these text field effects um, here, I think these are just done CSS um, for the web. And let me load that web page up here. And, you know, here's like a little article about them. I'm going to just go to the view demo here. And any moment now it'll load up. Oh yeah, there we are, right? I don't know why in Safari for some reason, like when I click on the text field here, if I start typing, um, typing, you know, it doesn't do anything. But if I click over here, then you see the text. You, you should actually see the text there, right? I could say name, right? Um, number, right? Okay. But anyway, you can see that there's sort of an animated effect, right? When I empty the field there, it kind of puts the placeholder in the middle, and when I click, it slides up, and then the thing opens a little bit, right? So this one's called Haruki, right? And then over here, this one's Hoshi, right? So if I click on this, you can see the line draws across. Line draws, right? Um, street address is Maple Street. Um, town is over there, right? Um, so anyway, there's another effect, right? And then here's another one, Kuro, right? Um, right? And then there's Jiro. Um, cat's name is Fluffy. I don't know why sometimes it doesn't show the, check, the text there. Sparky is the dog, right? And there's a whole bunch of these, right? And so what this guy did over here on GitHub is he, um, he reproduced these in Xcode. And then he very generously uh, put all of his code in, you know, in GitHub so we can download and, and borrow it, right? Um, and here's some examples. So you can kind of see the, the effects there, right? And these are surprisingly easy to use. So I've already downloaded the project. You can click on the download zip button there. 
And when you've done that, you'll get this folder here that says Text Field Effects Master. And in the folder, there are uh, you know a few things in here, right? It says Screenshots, and then it says Text Field Effects, right? So we'll go in there, and in the folder that says Text Field Effects, there's another folder called Text Field Effects. And what we need is we need all of the files here. And I had some trouble just dragging the folder into Xcode. It, it kind of didn't recognize the files. You could get it to do it, but it didn't do it automatically. So um, just to make it easiest for yourself, what I would recommend is finding all of the effects here in the text field effects folder. So you need these files. They should all they should have those names, Akira, Hoshi, Jiro, right? Just select everybody here, right? in that folder, and then drag them all into your project. And it's got to go in the project outline here. And you can just put them at the bottom here, just like we did with the image, OK? And then we'll get the same option here, where it says, choose options for adding these files. And we'll choose copy items if needed. Make sure that that's checked. And then click Finish, OK? And then if you like, you know, when you're in the, the outline here, you can select a group of files. And if you right click or control click on them, you'll get a little menu. And we can choose new group or new group from selection. So actually, the, these little folders here are groups. So what I want to do is I want to say new group from selection. And then it will create a new folder. And all of the files will be in the folder. And I'll call this text field effects. Okay, and then we can see all the files here. So how do you use it? how do you use these? Well, these are pretty easy to use. And if you if we click on the first one here, you can see that it, it's IB designable, just like the um, custom button and custom image view. And then it'll have a bunch of properties that are IB inspectable that we can set in Storyboard. So it'll draw itself in Storyboard and then allow us to set the options in Storyboard, right? So that's really convenient. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Storyboard. And let's say you know I want to use the very first one, Akira. So what I'll do is I'll click on one of my text fields, go to the custom class or the you know identity inspector, go to custom class here. And then it's type text field and all of those subclass text fields. So what we'll do is we'll start typing in Akira. So I, a -K K and then you know it gives me the rest of the text. I can just hit return and it'll recognize it. Okay, so there we go. Now you can see this kind of updated a little bit and it looks a little funny there, and that's okay. So what we'll do is now we'll switch back to the attribute inspector, and here we can set the border color, uh, the placeholder text color, and then the placeholder font scale. Okay, so let's do the border color. So I'll I'll go here. And uh, I'll pick that red color. Hmm, looks a little weird, right, with the box. We'll fix that in a minute, right? And maybe, I, you know, maybe I want the placeholder text color to be the same, red, okay? And then the placeholder font scale, let's set that to 1. I'll just click here to make it 1, and it'll make the text kind of a normal size, right? Now, the size of this is kind of a problem because it's 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 set with the with the settings down here and it's kind of hard to tell what these little buttons do but when we have this option selected here the height of the text field is fixed so we want to turn that off by clicking on the first one here and that'll allow us to change the height of the text field to anything that we want right so maybe I'll make my text field a little taller like this right okay and there we go. So again, you know, um, it's pretty easy to do. We can just set everything here, right? Um, you know, we've got our IB inspectables, and we can change those properties. Um, and then why don't we test it? So just like I did in the last video, I've got the entry point pointing to this login view controller that I've mocked up. And I'd like to see what that looks like, um, you know, in the simulator. So I'll, I'll click on the play button here. And... And then any moment now, it'll launch in the simulator. I think my simulator's stuck. You know, if this happens to you, do this. 
um, stop the simulator, click the stop button, go to, actually wait, let's go back to the simulator, go to the simulator here, and with the, you know, this is the simulator, right, you can see it's a simulator, it doesn't say Xcode there, so, so go to that menu, and then choose reset content and settings, and then it'll just kind of relaunch the simulator and start it over again, hopefully. Yeah, for some reason, mine is stuck there. Um, oh, there it goes, right? So I just got to wait for it to boot up again, just like your phone, right? Any moment now. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and the simulator, you know, on the desktop here, it, it acts pretty much just like the phone. It's got all the features of the phone. Um, you know, your phone has a, has a home button, and if you want to simulate a press on the home button, um, you can go to the hardware menu up here, and they have home, right? So that's just like clicking the home button, okay? You can see it's got some default apps, maps, and calendar, and Safari, right? So if I go here to this screen and then I, I go to hardware home button, you can see it goes just like, it does exactly what your phone would do, right? So anyway, now that we've got that working, let's test this text field again. So I'll, I'll click the play button. It'll build my project. And then there's my project there. And, and there's our text field, right? Looks just like this one. And now here's the effect. Like I click on it and uh, the keyboard shows up and the, placeholder text slides up and I can type in here, type in here, right? Um, you know, and if you, you know, if you remove the text, then uh, the placeholder will slide back down into place there, right? And there's a few of these, so you can try all the text field effects here, right? So that's just that one. Um, you know, you can test all these out and pick one that looks good for you, and then you can simulate your app in the, um, in the simulator and you know and test with your users or you know kind of get an idea of how it's going to work in a real project right and then you could eventually build a real project from this stuff too right so anyway thanks for watching and i hope that that's uh, interesting